In order to conserve elephants, we've got to know what we have, in what quantities, and where the animals are. We do know that we need hard data, reliable data. You cannot argue your case if you do not have better science. We count our elephants to know how many we have because there are a lot of pressures that face elephant conservation and management in this country. One is poaching in commercial trade or illegal commercial trade. We have strengthened law enforcement significantly. There's also habitat fragmentation and destruction. If you look at a chart worldwide and you see popula human population growth going that way, you're going to see depletion of wildlife going the other direction. Kenyans are increasing at the rate of uh, one million per year. Global warming is not good news for wildlife in general. And for sub-Saharan Africa in particular, it poses a couple of problems. We don't have seasons, I think, because of climate change. There can also be economic consequences to this, as if, if the habitats of the elephants, for example, are, are being degraded, uh, that can have an impact on tourism. And what is tourism? The biggest percentage that drives that is our wildlife, to the elephant. And because there are a lot of politics that revolves around elephants, they sometimes call a political animal. We really need governments to step up and enforce trade restrictions on illegal products, to enforce the laws that are on the books, and to be, become much more proactive. As long as there is a market out there, there will be reason to poach. So this count is very important. Like if we say in 1973, Savo had 45,000 elephants. Indeed it had because there was a census done. That population was reduced to just 5,000. When you say I want to sell ivory or you don't want to sell ivory, you should be talking from the point of science. You should be knowing the impact of killing elephants have on your population. We're working very hard with our partners around the world, very much here in Kenya as well, to try and stabilize the situation as best we can, do specific research and, and, get, and get into management. And that is the bottom line why we are having this census. So it is a very important event and I'm very happy to declare the 2011 Savo Conservation Area, total area count, officially launched. <laughs>and uh, they will start counting when they reach their block. Some may reach after an hour. And, and at the height of the day, like at noon, they will stop. They will land somewhere and they will take their lunch. Today yeah. I need hot lunch. I'm having no lunch more cold. <laughs> <laughs> and wait for the sun to cool down. After all, at the height of that midday, animals are hiding underneath bush, underneath trees. Makes errors very high, makes counting very difficult. But somewhere around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, the animals have started moving again to graze and to go to their water holes. Though we call this an elephant census, it's, it's essentially a census for all animals, as, as many animals as we can count, giraffe, elephants, lions, and some of the big birds. Ostriches are also interesting to count because where they are found could be an indication of an absence of baboons. Baboons love the eggs of ostriches. So if you find ostriches comfortable in an area, it means that area is free of baboons. Once this information is collected, it will enhance the conservation and management of elephants in Savo. At least for the last 20 years, we've seen the elephants recover. And the last census we did, I said we had 
11,000. Since 1989, the big poaching was basically arrested. We have linked up with the U.S. Marines to then enhance the skills of our rangers to the extent that they can fight modern warfare. So, poachers, beware. Corruption was brought in check through the sacking of corrupt officials. The other thing also we are doing is to address the issue of human wildlife conflict. We are going to be increasing our fences countrywide. We are also going to have an investment conference for the people of this area. We want then to marry conservation and enterprise so that the people, instead of uh, leasing their ranches for livestock, they could run conservancies. This census is of great national significance because Savo is the home of Kenya's largest elephant population. The ecosystem itself is huge. As you know, in the past, this ecosystem has supported 30,000 elephants. By the end of this week, we will have accounted for one third of Kenya's elephant population. So thank you, I4. Congratulations to those guys on the ground, the GIS team, who must have been working incredibly hard to put all this stuff together, do the tables and get it all out in time for the director to announce it. This year, 2011, the figure is 12,500 and 72.